Hello everyone, you're in Endurance Laser Lab. In this video, we are going to tell you how you may use Laser GRBL software. This software can be used if you have GRBL firmware. So we already connected our software and our machine um, through USB cable. Now we need to check uh, the port. So we're using COM6 port and press a button connect. You hear the noise, the sound, so it means that in this console you can see that uh, software has been connected. We have uh, Laser Master 2 and it shows GRBL 1.1F, that's the name of a firmware. So in this software you can do a lot of interesting things. On the left you can see console and here we can see all commands that were executed. Under it you can see a block of movement. So now we can move the laser, we can change the speed and uh, the steps in millimeters. So when once we press buttons you can see that the machine has been working. Well, at least it should. Once you see that command is being executed. We have a big worktop here where you can see all images once you upload them. Uh, we see different buttons here. Uh, we can change firmware, block firmware, set up zero position or home position. We can move uh, to center, to left. Uh, uh, yeah, we can also draw uh, the range, we can turn on minimum power, uh, focusing, and short pulses. Yeah, with the short pulse you can just aim the laser, so you just don't want to turn it on, so just press it and you have a very low power pulse. So once you want to do a laser cutting or engraving, you need to import the file we open file here, you can see it. So for example, I will take I will take endurance logo, endurance lasers. So you can see it here. And in import we can prepare process the image. We can change brightness, uh, contrast, uh, you can see in a preview looks good and white clip in case you just want to remove white color white background okay what we're gonna do next yeah we, we can just change this parameter white clip so it means that uh, it'll be faster so you you just practice and check it out okay we have vectorize uh, conversion tool so once we import a bitmap or raster we can vectorize it because it'll be much faster then after tracing um, you need to set up smoothing uh, that you wouldn't see direct lines so it will be very very smooth we set up 10 or 20 percent let's make 15 percent here okay now we can change the f direction filling so now it's no filling uh, uh, horizontal vertical or diagonal so just just any way um, you want to process the image and if you want to get your special style the classical uh, method is horizontal and we use it all the time and here we set up uh, filling quality uh, millimeters uh, yeah let's lines per uh, millimeter we use 0 0.1 0 0.50 and it's just the size of your uh, laser beam for that laser it's something like 0 0.1 millimeter we can change uh, position 
we can rotate we can do it inversed you need it inversed when you do stamps for example we can crop it so we go next and here in a target image we can change uh, the speed filling speed it's important to set up M4 laser mode here so that you have dynamic power so it will be changed you'll have grayscale it's very useful but keep in mind it only works in JBL firmware and we can change uh, other parameters like size and uh, position and so it's it's ready and now you can see the logo it's already been uh, vectorized and we can move it at any position so it depends where you want to start the engraving process now we we set up we put our a material on the worktop so it depends where you want to start your laser to engrave and it depends if you have end stops so most machines don't have it but uh, we, if you don't have it we suggest you adding end stops so that you have an exact position where your laser starts and this button run program is a button where you start that's uh, yeah, it looks good. And you see commands are executing. So all commands are there. Uh, we can stop the laser just in case if you need it urgently. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it we wanted to tell you in this video. So hope that you like it. Now you know how to run the laser. And if you have any questions, let me know, gf at enduranceroberts.com and my phone is plus 7916 and visit our website endurancelasers.com and our online store endurance-lasers.com. We'll be more than happy to assist you and have fun with endurance lasers. Bye-bye.